Cade, Ivy, <coughs> OG, Fontacchio, and Durin. And OG would be playing the four in like a small ball type four spot where he could be shooting and guarding the four as well. I mean, they'd be better. Yeah. I, again, it'd be a lot better. I just... You're not going to win a championship with Cade and, and Ivy as like your your guys. Yeah. Again, uh, as you oh, as you wanted Chris to. Chris used to be on the opposite side of this yeah. argument. So I, it's can we concede? I'm, I, please. <laughs> I, I guess I mean you guys aren't making yeah. the decisions for the Pistons, but like, what are we waiting for? Just wanted your thoughts on that. Like no, more no, shooting I know. around I know. it, more shooting around it. It's about that we team. haven't seen built before. How do you expect the Ivy to be effective? I mean, you you see him just transitioning to that catch a shooter. Well, I can see him be getting better at it because he's young, but I've I've seen this dude take over games at LCA in the past. Like, he is so fast and dynamic with his first step, or I think he has unworldly, like, athleticism that a lot of guys, like, probably 95% of the NBA is more athletic than in his first step. And I think that's so special where it's tough to give up on it. And, yeah, the fit right now with Cade is devastating. 28 games straight losing. 28 straight losses devastating, but I don't know. I just think if, there's so much potential I, with Ivy. I'm just going to say it right now. Yet. If Russell Westbrook couldn't win a championship with Kevin Durant, then Jaden Ivy's not going to win one with Kate Cunningham. True that. Yeah. I mean, great point. Like I that would kill for a playoff. Best push. case scenario. You, you, for a playoff you, you, talk, push right now. you talk about, you talk about uh, Darren Fox. Best case scenario would be Russell Westbrook. <laughs>